Scotch, and I'm uh, back to uh, reviewing. And the movie that I will review for you now is The Tree of Life. It got unanimous uh, rave reviews, and people uh, were standing in line uh, to uh, watch it. I saw it several weeks after the uh, opening. Brad Pitt is uh, someone who uh, I think is a fine uh, actor. Uh, Sean Penn, uh, also in the movie, fine actor. The others, quite good, uh, people I've never heard of, uh, uh, but quite good, and uh, several uh, juveniles. So, what's the movie uh, about? Got me. It's got great photography. I mean, I'm not usually uh, commenting on photography, but the photography here, in terms of scenes, locales, and uh, pictures uh, of the uh, people uh, playing the various roles. Excellent. It's got majestic music uh, that uh, brings you closer to God. In fact, a uh, uh, substantial part of the uh, movie uh, relates uh, to uh, the cosmos and uh, understanding it. Didn't actually make it uh, understandable to me, but uh, that's the intent. Um, the end of the rapture, meaning uh, somehow or other uh, returning uh, to uh, God, but there's nothing in between. <laughs> and uh, the uh, story of the cosmos is better told at the um, Rose Planetarium at the Museum of uh, Natural uh, History. So it uh, didn't do well with me, although you have to be truthful about it, uh, the audience at the end of the show um, applauded. I thought to myself, am I the little Japanese boy who said, but the king is naked? Uh, the emperor <laughs> of Japan, naked. I thought it was a, uh, a put-on or a put-down of the uh, audience, but maybe I'm alone. Go see it. You might like it. I didn't, and I'm giving it uh, a minus. Guide us to the end of time. Unless you love. Your life will flash by.